Welcome everybody. On this video, I will show you an exclusive method in how to change display language in Windows single language to multi-language without formatting or losing activation. If you have Windows 10 or Windows 11 home single language, you can't change the display language to another language without upgrading your system into Pro or Enterprise, because your Windows license only supports one display language. So you will need to do the following steps in order to change your display language to any language. Upgrading Windows from Home Single Language to Pro Multi-Language by changing product key. Installing the desired language pack. Downgrading Windows into Home Single Language to restore Windows activation. Let's starting. How do I change Windows 11 from Single Language to Multi-Language? Download Change Display Language by VM Text Zip file from links in video description. Also download fix system and update issues by VM text zip file to repair your system files and update service if you encountered any error during upgrading process. Download Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO file according to installed Windows in your computer. Select the desired language that you want to be the new display language in your computer. The ISO file is required to downgrade your system back from Pro to Home in order to restore your Windows activation. If you are not concerned about Windows activation, you can skip downloading the ISO file of Windows. Disconnect your computer from the Internet. Extract change display language by VM text zip file and then open the extracted folder. Right click change edition file and then select run as administrator. Type 2 and then press enter to change your Windows edition from home single language to professional multi language. You can upgrade into another edition if you want by typing the corresponding number, but you should not select any single language edition again. Type 1 and press enter. Type 1 again and press enter to start upgrading process. The system will restart automatically to complete upgrading process. If the process completed into 100% and then you get an error message like this, then you can ignore the error message and restart your system manually to complete the upgrading process. But if the process stacked in 20 or 40% or if your system didn't change to Pro Edition, then you have to repair your system and update services as you will see later. Let's open settings to see if the upgrade done or not. As you can see, the addition of Windows changed from home single language into Pro that supports multi-languages without format. However, the new addition of Windows is not activated after upgrading but you can restore your home activation by downgrading into home single language edition after changing the display language as you will see later. How to change single language from English to Arabic in Windows 11 and Windows 10. I will show you how do I change my Windows 10 and Windows 11 single language from English to Arabic, however, this method is applicable to change display into any language and vice versa. To add Arabic or another display language, do the followings. From settings menu, Click on Time and Language option and then select Language and Region option. Click on Add Language option and then select the desired language. Click Next to proceed. Make sure the Language Pack option is checked and then check Set as My Windows Display Language option, after that, click on Install icon to start installing the selected Language Pack. Click Sign Out to apply your new display language. As you can see, the display language changed from English into Arabic language successfully in Windows 11, but in Windows 10, the display language did not change to Arabic completely. In such case, you have to downgrade Windows using the ISO file of Windows as you will see later. How to downgrade Windows 11 Pro to Home without reinstall To restore your Windows activation, you have to downgrade your Windows from professional to home single language. But if you want to keep the Pro Edition or if the previous activation is not concerned, you can purchase an activation key from Microsoft Distribution Agent in your city or from the official Microsoft website, or you can search Google for a free activation method if you can't purchase the genuine activation key. However, if display language is not completely changed to the new language as happened in my Windows 10, then you have to downgrade into home single language in order to get full display language in addition to restoring your previous activation key. To downgrade to Windows Home single language without losing your data and installed apps, you will need to do the following steps. Change the default system language into your new language. Modify registry to allow downgrading. Downgrading step using ISO file of Windows image. Let's see how to change the default system language into new language. Type CMD into search box and then run command prompt as administrator. Type the following command and press enter to show the default system user interface language. 
DISM slash online slash get INTL. As you can see, the default system UI language is still the English US language, but the active MUI or display language is the Arabic language. Execute the following commands to allow changing the default UI language. BCD edit slash set current locale ARSA. BCD boot percent win DIR percent slash LARSA. Replace ARSA in both previous commands by the language code of your new language. Press Windows logo plus R keys from keyboard to open run tool. Type regedit and press enter to open registry editor app. Navigate to the shown path and then export the folder of the old language key to anywhere inside your computer. After that, delete the key folder of the old language from registry. Restart your system to apply the new changes. This step is to allow downgrading without losing the installed apps if the default system language is different. As you can see, the default UI language changed to my new language successfully. How to modify registry to allow downgrading into home single language. I will show you how do I downgrade from Windows 10 Pro to home single language without changing the default UI language to see what will happen to my installed app after downgrading. Open change display language by VM text folder. Double click the downgrade to Windows 11 home reg file and then click yes to add the key to your registry. Double click the ISO file of installed Windows to mount it, after that, double click the setup file to open upgrade wizard. Disable downloading updates online if you want, and then click next. Accept Microsoft usage agreement to continue. As you can see, the option to keep all personal files and installed apps is available in Windows 11 but not in Windows 10. This is because the default system UI language was changed in Windows 11 but not in Windows 10. Click install to start downgrading process. This process may take up to one hour or more, so be patient. As you can see, both Windows 10 and Windows 11 downgraded into home single language without losing files or installed apps, in addition to restoring activation key automatically. However, the installed apps were removed in Windows 10, because the default UI language didn't change to Arabic before downgrading. How to fix upgrading errors If the upgrading process failed, you have to check your system for errors using DISM and System Files Checker tools as followings. Double click the ISO file of Windows to mount it. Extract fix system and update issues by VM text zip file into your computer and then open the extracted folder. Right click the file named DISMSFC check disk and then select run as administrator option. Type 4 into batch console and press enter to start both DISM and SFC tools. The tools will check for missing or corrupted system files and then repair or replace them from the mounted ISO image automatically. Once the batch file completed checking and repairing, try to upgrade your system again. If the problem not fixed, try to reset Windows Update services by running the file named Fix Windows Update as administrator and then restart your system. After that, try upgrading again. How to fix this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. If you have installed Windows 11 in unsupported computer, the downgrade or even upgrade process from ISO file will fail with an error message saying that this PC doesn't support Windows 11 or this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. If the error is due to the processor isn't supported for this version of Windows only, then you can fix that by running allow upgrades in unsupported PC file as administrator, after that run the setup file again. If the error is due to the system disk needs to be 64 GB or larger, or the PC must support TPM 2.0 or the PC must support secure boot, then you have to fix that as followings. Copy the ISO file contents into any folder inside your computer. Open sources folder and locate the appraisers.dll file and open it using any text editor app. Delete everything inside the file and then save your changes. After that, run the setup file again and downgrade your system without errors. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.